Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, I hope you're doing good in, in uh, virtual land out there. We're looking at day two or day three objective here and my objective here is to graph parallel and perpendicular lines. So, you know, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna go through, you know, graphing a line and then graphing its uh, parallel and perpendicular line. And I think the most important thing here is that you know how parallel lines and perpendicular lines are related to our original line for that matter. So uh, you might want to write this down. Parallel lines have equal slopes. So whenever you have two parallel lines, they have the slope that's the same. If you have perpendicular lines, all right, then they have opposite reciprocal. Basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, uh, flip and change. Okay, change it flip. Flip and change, like you're flipping change, like a penny. Flip a coin, flip and change. So flip, two over one, make it one half, and then negative, so make it positive. If it's positive, make it negative. Change it, all right? And then you have uh, the slope of a perpendicular line. So let's go, uh, let's go look at a, a, a plethora of uh, examples. Oh, whoa, went too fast there. Here's our first one. They're all going to be the same, well, similar. We're going to key, key out this keyword here. So graph 3x plus 2y equals 8 and the line parallel through negative 2, 1. Negative 1. So the first thing is we got to graph this guy right here. And we're going to graph this guy. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, put it in slope intercept form. That seems like a good way to do it. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Divide everything by 2. What is that? It's like a mini 3. It's like a mini 3. You say it like 3. So, make it a little better here. 3 halves x plus 4. So let's go ahead and graph that. We'll go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 1, 2, 3. Over 1, 2. And then we will make a line. Come on, line, make a line. Here we go. Oh, let's make that line red. Okay. I said red, computer, not green. Crazy computer. Okay, so let's let's make it red, computer. Thank you. Let's not make it dotted, and let's um, let's give it some arrows. We've got a line. Okay. Go ahead and just because we like, to, we'll extend this line out. We like to see the whole thing out. Okay. All right, so there is our line, and we want the line parallel. So the line parallel, first we have to take and uh, plot 2, negative 2, negative 1. So negative 2 here. So we go over 2 and down 1, negative 1. So there's our point. Now we want to have the line parallel to that. So what we can do is we can, um, we can either come up with the equation of that line or we can just use the slope. The slope here is negative 3 halves. So what we're going to do is from this point we're going to use its slope and the slope goes down 3, okay, down 3, over 2. So we're going to do that. We're going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. Okay. And I used the same slope as my original line because they're parallel, and parallel have equal slopes. Equal slopes, okay? So now we've got our line, okay, well, we don't got our line, I'm gonna put our line here. So let's go ahead and graph our line. What is with those dotted lines? Jeez, Louise, computer. Let's try to get rid of these dashed lines. Okay, saw the line, arrows, there we go, let's extend this guy out, and there we go, notice our lines are parallel. All right, let's try another one. Graph x equals 3 and the line parallel through negative 2, 2. x equals 3, well, gosh, golly, we did this last time. This is a vertical line. So let's go and, and, and make that vertical line, vertical line, add x equals 3. 
one, two, three. If you don't remember that, take a look at a, a previous video. And we're making a vertical line at x equals three. Let's make sure I have a solid line here. Okay. All right, we'll give it some arrows. All right, so we got right there. Ooh, that's nice. So now we want the line parallel through negative two, two. So let's go and draw, let's go and plot that point, negative two, two, negative two here, up two, one, two. There's my point, it's gonna be parallel. Well, the nice thing is we know that, we know exactly that a parallel line is gonna, well, in this case, it's, it's vertical, it's just gonna go straight up and down too. So there we go, we got parallel lines. Let's take a look at another. Uh, why don't you take a second to practice this one? All right, so now that you paused it, hopefully you paused it, now I'll pause it now and then I'll go over this. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and change that into slope intercept form. So then I'm going to divide by negative two. All right, so I'm gonna go down five, one, two, three, four, cinco, up five, one, two, three, four, five, over two, one, two, there we go. Draw our line. Okay, connect our dots, draw our line. There we go. Now we are going to draw our, come on dude, stretch. All right, whatever, two, negative four. Okay, one, two, up four, net down four. One, two, three, four, right there. Okay, then we're gonna do our parallel line, five halves. So we're gonna go up five, one, two, three, four, five, over two, one, two. There he is. And then draw our line. Right there. So we've got our parallel lines, okay? So again, uh, what's the trick? How do I do this, Mr. Myasis? Well, you, you take uh, the point and then you use the slope from your problem to graph your other line. Here's some MOS examples. Graph y equals 5x minus 3 and the line perpendicular. Whoa. -oh. Moving on. Perpendicular. Perpendicular. So how do what do we do with perpendicular? Perpendicular is going to be the, the negative reciprocal, right? Opposite reciprocal. Flip it, make it negative. Or flip it, change the sign. So let's go ahead. The slope here is 5. Let's go ahead and graph that. Minus or one, two, three, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five over one, and then we're gonna graph that. Okay, so now that we graphed our line, we're gonna wanna graph our perpendicular line. Remember our perpendicular line has the negative reciprocal. So negative reciprocal slope for our perpendicular line, what does that look like? We're gonna flip it, change the sign. So let's go to zero, two, zero, one, two is here. Okay, and then we're gonna go down one over five. One, two, three, four, five. Down one over five, and then draw our line. Okay, there we go, dudes. Dudes, I know there's some ladies watching. Sorry I said dude. Okay, there we go. Perpendicular. They should cut perpendicular again, remember, is a 90 degree angle. So we should have a 90 degree angle here. Okay, there we go, right there. Okay, so let's take a um, look at some more. Graph 4x plus 3y equals 6 on the, and the line perpendicular through negative 3, 1. So we've got to change this into slope intercept form. And I recommend changing to slope intercept form because that gives you the slope. Okay, got to divide everything by three here. So I'm gonna go up two, then down one, two, three, four, over three, one, two, three, draw my line. All right, so draw my line. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not, not perfect there. Okay, now plot negative three, one. One, two, three, up one. There's my point. Then I'm going to go 
perpendicular. So the slope of the line perpendicular is 3 over 4. Flip it, change the sign. So up 3, 1, 2, 3 over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then draw our line. There we go. Perpendicular lines, right? All right, here's another one. Graph y equals negative 2. Oh, come on, Mr. Mice, this is a piece of cake. Y equals negative 2, that's a horizontal line. That's going like this. I know that. Well, you know, it's, it's on negative 2. I did the best I could there. And then perpendicular through 4, 3. Well, you know what? This is 0. This is a horizontal line. i got to go vertical, right? Go vertical. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then uh, 3. 1, 2, 3. So here's the point. And I'm going to go vertical. Boom. 90 degrees. Got my perpendicular line. Okay, here's a practice problem. Okay, let's graph this practice problem. Down one. Down one. Come on. Then up three. One, two, three. Over two. One, two. Graph that sucker. Okay. There we go. Then we are going to, this is the last one I'm going to do, guys. Okay, and then two, three. So we're going to plot two, three. So one, two, one, two, three. And then we're going to go, our slope is going to be, I put this little upside down T for perpendicular. It's going to be negative two thirds. Flip it, change it, flip it, change it, flip it, change it. So down to one, two, over one, two, three. Okay, and there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, we got our, we're gonna graph our line now. That is all it is to it, okay? We're just gonna graph our line, use the idea of perpendicular and parallel, and we got our picture. Okay, so that's the main point, just to graph them, make sure you understand and know and memorize how the parallel and perpendicular slopes are related to our original, like a cousin. All right, we will see you all later. Thanks for joining me.